PP3v4.2 is 3.4. PP bus is 12.5, but there's no green light. Hmm. How do we have 3.42 on PP3v4.2? 12.56 on PP bus, but no green light. Well, what's responsible for creating the green light in this MacBook? What's going to allow you to have a green light is going to be when the charger, which plugs in over here, gets to talk to the system management controller, which is this thingy over here. See? SMC, system management controller. When it gets to talk to this on the sys one wire line, so the sys one wire line sits between U7000 and the charger. So the charger is here. Charger's adapter sense line goes to this chip, from this chip to the system management controller. Let's see what that looks like on our motherboard. What is this foreign substance? DK Fire Sky sounds like somebody who needs to program his own apps. So as can be seen here, this is the pin that is the problem, the PP3v4-2 pin. Now this logic gate over here is when SMC BCACOK is present, this logic gate is going to take PP3v4-2 and pass it through to U7000. U7000 is the chip that's going to allow the charger's adapter sense line, which is responsible for sensing the charger and turning on the green light and allowing it to work, to talk to the system management controller, which is on the SIS1 wire line. And as can be seen here, the PP3v4-2 pad is totally done for. There's actually an indent in there. So as I'm moving my tweezers along, you can't really feel this, but it slides in. See, it's a crevice. So there's no pad there. So I'm going to have to run a little wire. So we're going to run a little jumper wire after we uh, just resolder this. And then this board is going to work great again. All right. Now we can grab our PP3v4-2 from this capacitor right down here. As can be seen on the schematic and board view. See? PP3v4-2 missing pad. Okay, right at this capacitor. Thank Paul Daniels for coding Plex board view, which makes it easy to see where these things are coming from. Can you buy those parts new? Yeah, you can. But this doesn't fail very often. And after this, we're going to run a little jumper wire. I'm just going to turn the board around. Anytime you're working on this stuff, make sure that you always turn the board around so that you're comfortable. The board does not have to be comfortable. You need to be comfortable. And we're going to run the little jumper wire where PP3v4-2 has to be. How are your plans for going to Norway? Uh, if what I heard is true, which is that I'm not allowed to record in the courtroom, then I won't have a plan to go to Norway because there won't be anything for me to do. 
I'm waiting to see if that was correct or not. Why are cats so cute? Well, it's the way that they trick humans into not realizing that they're serial killers. Which they are. Cats are evil serial killers, but they're cute. So we let them get away with murder. Which is fine if you apply it to kitty cats, not if you apply it to your dating life. Lesson learned. Alright. Watch this thing have a nice green light on the charger now. MacBook. This is a working MacBook. Now, the reason that I went straight for the one wire circuit rather than check the SMC is because PP bus G3 hot was 12.56 volts. The SMC is going to communicate with the chip that makes PP bus G3 hot on an SMC data line. So if you look over here, you'll see that the SMC communicates with the battery charger chip. And the battery charging chip here is the chip that creates a rail called PP bus G3 hot. When the SMC is communicating with this chip, it'll make 12.56 volts, or 8.56 volts in an air. When the SMC is not properly communicating with this chip, it'll produce 12.23 volts, or 8.16 volts in an air. And here's the data line where the communication occurs. Since that communication was occurring, I assumed that the SMC was likely good and was turning on, and that the issue had to be somewhere else. Which is why when we checked this area, when we checked that area, we saw the corrosion, and so on and so forth. So, this here, this little logic gate is going to work, and you can look it up. There's a little truth table in the manual. So, if you look at the pins, in A, in B, VCC, out. Why? Now, if you look at the truth table down here, when A and B are both low, output is low. When A is low and B is high, output is low. When A is high and B is low, output is low. When A and B are both high, then output is high. So the way this little logic gate is going to work is when it's only going to allow power to pass through when 1 and 2, which are both tied together here as you can see, when SMC BC AC OK is high, it will let 3.42 volts pass to its output and turn this on. Now that we've gone over that, we can turn this on and see that it has a nice green light and that it charges. As you can see, we have a green light. And as you can see, the fan is spinning. This beautiful board that was picked 110% at random, random just so happens to have been a simple, easy repair that only needed a logic gate and a little jumper wire or PP3V42, which is the VCC in pin, to U7001, which is the power pin that's going to turn it on. See here? This is my microscope, right? This is the power supply to my microscope. This here is the VCC pin of my microscope. That pin 